Hey guys, and welcome back to Pikmin. In the last episode, we failed. We run out of time to actually take on the Emperor Bulblax. However, this time, all of the puzzle sections are complete, and we should have a straight shot to our target. So, once more, we're feeling, chaps. I mean, we did most uh, mostly kill him, I think. I think we took him down to about a quarter health, something like that. Uh, also, uh, at the tail end of the last video, I sprouted us like an extra 200 Pikmin or so. So, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're pretty good when it comes to Pikmin. Uh, 19 should be fine. And then we'll get reds. Okay, we've got like 400 odd reds. Uh, yeah, we should, be, we should be in pretty good shape to take this guy on. So, do we actually have... I don't think there's any grass or anything around here, is there? No, there is no grass. Well, never mind. Olimar, let's go, buddy. We do have some basic Pikmin as well, sadly. Right, let's see if we can get these guys in a bit. Bit of a line so they don't all fall into the water. There we go. That's all right. Now, okay, cool. So, everybody with me? Let's go get you guys weaponized before we do anything. Now, ah, oh, there is some nectar up there. Potentially, there's some nectar up there. Right, there should be six explosives here, I think, if memory serves. Come on, guys. Time is money! Is that it? Are you... Okay, so I guess is that... Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know there's one more in here somewhere. At least I'm sure there's one more here somewhere. It doesn't matter. We can get these guys uh, strapped another way. Uh, now. Really, what we could do... We'll have you bombardiers there. We'll take you scallywags over here. and we'll get you guys strapped on this end. That way. Come on. That way, we've got uh, explosive Pikmin pretty much every way we turn. Which is nice. Uh, I'm going to leave you... Ah, cool. Right, you're all strapped. Right, you... I wish I could spread you out a little bit, but... Hey, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Now. You boys, I guess, can stay there. And you guys. I only want one. You right there, fella. You gonna emerge? Dude, there we go. You actually have to walk into him. That's kind of interesting. Right, dude, you're the bait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry it has to be this way. But that's the way it goes. Somebody has to be the sacrificial lamb. And unfortunately, it's you, my friend. Right, everybody ready? Pull back. Full back. Nice. Right. Next sacrificial lamb. You, sir. Yes, you have unfortunately drew the very short straw here. Good man. That's it. Oh, right in the face. Right, go, men. Make sure your brother's sacrifice was not in vain. Right, not bad. Okay, not bad, not bad. Everybody, return. Oof, okay, cool. You, go out there. Now, okay, cool. Kind of didn't maximize that one much. And the kittens are back on the missus' desk again. They seem to really like keyboards. But I suppose that's what cats do. Right, dudes, I only want one of you. I only want one of you. Man, they make it so difficult to select one Pikmin in this game. Come on. And now he's on my desk. Milo. Ew. Lots of sensitive recording gear here. Yes. It, uh, you are going to be in a video, don't worry. 
We're going to have you in a video. But you can't interrupt battles. Galactic battles. Right, off you go. Go play with your brother. Ah, oh, kittens. Who'd have them? Right, um, now, nah, where was I? Come on, cherry pick one. Uh, you know what, that's fine. If both of them want to sacrifice... Oh, no! No! Okay, they survived somehow. Alright. Right, one can go over there. And I guess we'll have one there. Right, who wants to be the sacrifice first? Don't throw the bombs at him, you fool! Alright, in that case. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can get him to eat that guy. I swear he was better at eating them before. Like, he, he does seem to almost actively be avoiding these tasty snacks, which surprises me. There we go. That's some good damage right there. That's some good damage right there. Right, come on, man. Regroup, regroup. Okay. We just lost a lot of men because they, for some reason, did not follow me. But hey, that's up to them. That is indeed up to them. Right. There you go. Don't throw the bomb at him. Just get a few of these ready. This might be a better way of doing it. Yes. Wait for him to eat one. There we go. How are you behind my monitor? How are you behind my monitor? Leo. Lilo. Uh, Lilo? Leo, I should say. No, no walkie on the keyboard. You are not a communist cat, are you? You're a terrorist cat. You're a terrorist cat. Oh, God, you're a squirmy little guy. Uh, right, okay. Oh, I'd missed all these interruptions. Right, let's go, guys, go. Pull back. Yeah, we've lost. We've lost a lot of dudes. But that's okay. Get him, man. Get him. Get him. This might be the last cycle. And he's literally right back on. He is. Li oh, there we go. He's done, son. He's done. He's actually a very easy boss, as you can see. Like, ridiculously easy. We actually had a lot of losses there, though. Ah, oh, Milo. Why? Why? <laughs> Why must you? Why must you torment me so? You are a little pain. Don't you go give me those eyes. You know what you're doing. It's not often you're allowed in the gaming room. Ah, little bastard. Right. So, with that, we are victorious. At long last, I have found the final part. My secret safe. And it is as full as ever. How glad I am that I have persisted in my search. Without losing hope. Now I have now I leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hockertate. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Let's harvest up the last of the spoils. Because why not? You know what, actually. Uh, you boys, grab that. How many do we need? 40 Pikmin. That is a serious piggy bank there. I must be full of all sorts of loot. There we go. Come on. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, that'll do. Gee, I hope our boss doesn't, like, steal all of our money. Yeah, we can't actually grab those, can we? All right, no matter. Let's go get these guys de-armed. De I wish, actually, that we could uh, order them to drop their bomb rocks. I don't know if we can in later games. I'm not sure. But if we put them back, they will drop their, their bomb rocks. Oh, shit. Wrong way. So how many yellows did we lose then? Eight, I think. Or seven. It's not bad, considering. Not bad at all. All right. Let's go get some more. Let's go grab all of the spoils. Everything. We came. We saw. We smashed this place. 
Now, there is still one uh, secret boss, hidden boss, that I want to cover, if I can. Um, not sure. Yes, I can actually do it. I was going to say, I thought I'm... I did think I was going to have to play through the uh, a good section of the game again, but I'm not. I mean, even if I did, I was on holiday, so it doesn't matter. Right. Now we have our personal loot. Our personal wealth. Yes, it would have been a shame to leave our, our savings here. Although, I'm not sure why Olimar is carrying his space savings around. Kind of seems a bit silly. Right, let's grab up this stuff. Okay. I have finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hockatate. Sweet, sweet victory. And she's a fine vessel indeed. <laughs> okay, just skip straight up. Ah, oh, the music. <laughs> Olimar is not amused. So, what happens now that they don't have the leadership of Olimar? They become apex predators. Yes. They rule the planet. Quite vicious little buggers, to be fair. Ah, but wait. Look at all the different types of uh, Pikmin onions there are. Hmm. Curious. That's like a bit of a junker, doesn't it, the dolphin? Well, hopefully we still get paid for that. I wonder if that's the sort of thing space insurance covers. And here we go. Final analysis. Took us 20 days to get all 30 parts, which is actually pretty bad. Uh, we, <laughs> we lost 342 Pikmin, which is also pretty bad. Uh, but we did sprout uh, 1,000, giving us 727 survivors. Oof. Total Pikmin ever sprouted. Oh, so that's through all of your playthroughs, I guess. That's quite a cool little statistic. We got all of the ship parts. So, um, as you can see, you do not need the space float, the massage machine, the UV lamp, the secret safe, or the Nova Blaster to actually complete the game. We're going to save. Now, we still have um, a secret ending, to, well, the bad ending to show. And we have, um, yeah, so we've got, I'm sure there's two bad endings. There's like a, a mediocre-ish ending, and there's a, just a flat-out bad ending, I think. Although, maybe there is only a good and a bad ending. I'm not 100% sure. We're going to investigate. We also need to uh, show off the uh, hidden boss, which uh, we missed in the distant spring. That boss is kind of a bastard. Apparently, you can only fight him up to day 15. If you don't fight him on day 15 or, or before, he disappears. So, luckily we've got an earlier save that we can load. And we can investigate that. 
And to get the bad ending, luckily on this version, I don't believe on the GameCube version, you can do this. But I might be wrong. Uh, it's been a very long time. I don't even have... I do have the GameCube version, actually. I don't have the GameCube version of 2. But I've got 2 on, on the Wii as well. Um, we can actually just skip to Sunset. Potentially just sit here for an hour wasting the days. Which I'm quite grateful for. Otherwise, we'd have to <laughs> leave all the time tick by. Which, yeah, that, that, that will be a thing. Um, so... Do I think this game still holds up? Yeah, I do actually. I think this is a textbook Nintendo rare gem, so to speak. It's a game that's very overlooked, but it is an absolute typical Nintendo game. Um, if you do give it a go, I think it's very fun. It's very rewarding to play. Uh, and it's something that's so different um, to anything else. It's got such a charming personality and some wonderful music and it's not even a very long game as well. Um, the Pikmin controls do irritate the hell out of me and I would actually like to go back and play it on the GameCube just to try it with the control pad. This migrant Lithopod has developed a stronger carapace than its relatives. Yeah, this is cool. I like these little enemy roll calls as well. Uh, yeah, so Pikmin AI definitely is frustrating, or should I say lack thereof any kind of intelligence whatsoever. And there's the bread bug there being dragged back to base. This creature's thick hide protects it from most attackers. But this is the game. Um, this and Wind Waker. With, what's the other game? Yeah, so there was four main games that convinced me to give Nintendo a go. Uh, and that was Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda, obviously. To my day, is still one of my favourite uh, Zelda games. This, Luigi's Mansion, and Mario Sunshine really convinced me that the GameCube was a really special system. I never got into Smash Brothers. I don't get it. It's just, I mean, yeah, it's a fighting game that is shallow as fuck if you want, or if you want to put the time in, it's one of the deepest um, games out there. And I know a lot of people love it, but I just don't like it in the slightest. I don't get it. Uh, I think it's, you know, it, it's, yeah. I, I played it for about five minutes and I was bored of it in about five minutes. Um, I think I've got the one on the GameCube and I've got the one... Uh, no, no, I think that's it. Um, so yeah, it's those four games really. And then Star Fox Adventure came along, which was also supposed to be Dinosaur Planet. Um, but got changed into a Star Fox game for some reason, and a lot of people don't like it. But I actually really do like that game. And uh, I ended up playing my GameCube so much. Almost, and sometimes I was playing it more than my Xbox, which was funny. But yeah, that was the moment that I stopped being a fanboy and realized that, you know, every console has value. Um, I think the hardest console to actually justify in a very long time that I can even think of is probably the Xbox One, if I'm being honest. It, yeah. There's been very few systems that I consider duds. And I would, I personally, I do think the Xbox One is a, is a bit of a dud. Um, due to Microsoft just totally not supporting it with games. Um, but I do think the Xbox One X is going to be a better, a better show. I really do. I think they're going to bring it this time with games. But I still think this game holds up wonderfully. And I'm looking forward to playing the second game. Because I've, I've watched Let's Plays of the second game. Um, and, I, you know, I can't actually remember if I played it back in the day. I don't think I did. I was pretty confident that I didn't, but actually I'm not sure. I've wanted to play Pikmin 3 for the longest time. I've recently played and completed the demo of it on my Switch. And it's really cool. But why would I buy it on my Switch when I've got it on the Wii U and it's uh, exactly the same game? I, I don't know. I'll probably just play the Wii U version. However, the Switch version would be pretty cool when I'm at work, I suppose. Yep, 
Now there is, there has been a long rumored Pikmin 4, which would be nice because I'm, although I've only ever really played the first game, I am quite invested. That's the boss that we haven't seen, the Smoky Prog. Thought to be a malformed larva of the uh, Mamuta. The Mamuta is that weird monkey thing uh, that appears in the first landing site. But the second game is much bigger, humongously bigger. And the story, one thing I like about the Pikmin 2 is the story picks up exactly where this one leaves off. And the story's absolutely ridiculous. And when I say it's ridiculous, I mean that in the best way possible. It's that delicious kind of stupidity, which is just perfect. And it suits the universe down to a T. Now, one thing that I think is a bit confusing. Now, because they start adding loads of different Pikmin into the game, I think... I don't know. I hope they're not going to overcomplicate it, shall we say. When you've got like 13 different types of Pikmin, obviously I'm taking the piss. There isn't that many. But when you've got so many different types of Pikmin, they all have strengths and weaknesses, blah, 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 blah. It definitely could get confusing. Now, in the second game, you don't have the 30-day time limit, which is nice. You still have the day and night time limit. The end. Happy the end. Yes. So that's actually the good ending. Um, now, in Pikmin 2 and 3, I don't think you have the t any kind of hard time limit at all. Uh, I could be wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. So you can play it at your own pace, which I like. I hate being rushed in games. So, that is that. Now, what am I going to show off next? Let's... We're going to start... What are we on? 22 minutes. Yeah, so I can load this save. And... Okay, so I ha- oh god, I've got to do that again. Right, so... Well, we don't really have to do that again. We only have to do- I only have to collect two pieces. And then we can show off the boss. Which I might just do. Right, guys. Catch you in a sec. Right, guys. Let's have a little crack at uh, taking out this guy, shall we? Now... I think what we're going to do, we're going to summon, say, oh, I don't know, 40 reds. Now, this dude is incredibly dangerous. He is, well, if he was a spider, uh, a spiton, a, yes, if he was a spiton, discount spartan, he would be considered hyper lethal. So, let's go wake his ass up. It is this egg over here. Now, if we get close to him. He should hatch. Come on, birdie. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. What do we... No, there we go. Oh, he's getting there. Boom. There we go. Look at this motherfucker. Now, he does not attack us. He does not attack Ulamar. But he will make a beeline straight to our base. Now, any Pikmin he touches with his sludgy, gas-like droppings, shall we say, uh, will instantly kill your um, Pikmon. Pikmon? Pikmon, yes, Pikmon. I haven't had enough coffee today. Uh, so, you need to be really careful. He is, as you can see, we're literally just throwing them into uh, his poison there, and they are dying instantly. Now, this guy will actually hang around your base. And be quite the nuisance. He's not super strong, as you can see. But he's strong enough, if that makes sense. But we're just going to keep chip. Oh, he's actually... S okay, he got stuck there for a little bit. He's quite a glitchy, buggy enemy. As you can see, he's just wandering through our entire um, troop of Pikmin. Which is frustrating. But this is what he'll do. He'll essentially wander around your base... Uh, causing havoc. He will also uproot... Po um, I've been playing a lot of Pokemon recently. Can you tell? Uh, he will also uproot your um, Pikmin that are still in the ground and consume them. 
he's quite the dick. And if you're not used to encountering him, he will actually wipe out an, uh, an entire force of 100 pick, um, Pikmin. Pretty much in seconds, all he's got to do is walk through your entire squad and they're all goners. They're dead. But at the same time, as you can also see, he's not hes not exactly, you know, the hardest thing in the world. But when he dies, he leaves behind a pellet. Just one pellet. Once all that ooze disappears. Now, it kind of looks like a pearl from uh, the landing site. But this one is actually one of the most valuable things in the game. Because this will give you 100 100 seeds which is pretty damn incredible it's by far like the best way to well i would say the best way to get more pick uh pikmin because obviously you know uh <laughs> you're you're bound to lose quite a few fighting him i've seen like expert strategies where people will gather up loads of explosives over here um, and they will have a line of explosive uh, Pikmin ready to go. Or what? Uh, another strategy I have seen is people will gather up a load of explosive uh, Pikmin, uh, send them all back into the base so all the explosives are here. And when he gets stuck on one of these legs, they'll throw one explosive guy that they've kept spare to blow up all of the bomb rocks around it. And that does a considerable amount of damage. But yeah, he's actually like a hidden boss. And you have to fight him before day... Uh, 15. Otherwise, I guess he hatches and just fucks off. Oh, God. This asshole's around now. Man, I hate these guys. Right. Come on. Let's get out of here. But, yeah. That is that. Is that. And I think I've shown, like, all the hidden bosses and whatnot off now. I think the only thing left is to show off what happens if you don't get enough ship hearts in time. And <laughs> I have to be fair. Like... It's quite a horrific ending for poor old Olimar, to be fair. Um, it's, yeah, it, it did creep me out when I was quite a bit younger. It's got to be said, kill it, kill it. Rip its wings off, rip its wings off. Man, I hate these things. Why would you, if you was a bug, why would you go up against the Pikmin? They look like an easy, tasty snack, I suppose. But you are wrong. These Pikmin will fuck you up. I like the way it's his, like, antennas that are actually his wings. Which is kind of funny. Oh, you got hosed, son. You got hosed. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to show off the uh, bad ending. So, till then, guys. Okay, so I'm going to unpause if I get any um, different logs, so to speak. So, 15 days since impact. The creature... Creatures of this planet breathe a deadly poisonous gas, oxygen. At present, my spacesuit can filter the oxygen out, but if the batteries for my life support system should fail, I shudder to think about it. No matter how many of their compatriots fall in battle, the Pikmin fight on. Would this have been a peaceful planet had I never come? No. Surely the Pikmin lived like this before my arrival. They must have. In any case, I must not waver if I hope to return home. My task is now to do whatever I can to recover all of the dolphins' missing parts. I wonder if these Pikmin were waiting for me to arrive. No, not necessarily me, but an alien being like me who could fight alongside them. On this planet, they are a weak species, but maybe they see that they can use the power of an alien brain to climb to the top of the natural order. Such ideas make me wonder if it isn't I who is being used by them. Hmm, interesting. It has been 18 days since I crashed onto this planet. My reflection in the mirror is looking a little gaunt, and I think my wife warned me not to gain too much weight on this vacation. Ah, the thought makes me chortle. She would surely be surprised to see me now. It feels as if it has been many years since I saw her last. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on to those memories, buddy, because, well, <laughs> things aren't going to go good for you, buddy. This is an ever-surprising ecosystem. 
What has caused this planet's vegetation to grow in such gigantic proportions in comparison to the Pikmin and other creatures of this planet? The scale of plant life here seems inexplicable. Perhaps long ago creatures of incomprehensible size walked the surface of this planet. Just imagine. Yes, yes they did, Olimar. They were called humans, but they are long extinct. Occasionally, when I look behind me, I make some very amusing discoveries. The Pikmin will... The Pikmin all seem to follow me in the same fashion. But there are always individual specimens that end up performing the wrong actions. I suppose if there are agile, capable Pikmin, there must also be clumsy, din Pikmin as well. That is a natural way of things. <laughs> yeah, some of them are dumbasses, I guess, is what Alamar here is trying to say. Yeah, the, the atmosphere for this game is very bleak really uh it always surprised me for a nintendo game how it isn't your usual happy-go-lucky affair there's definitely some um some some dark kind of uh hopeless narrative to it which uh, always attracted me to the game my people were born out of the sea of stars to come down to hokotate and when we complete our lives, we return to the great ocean of stars. But since these Pikmin come from the depths of the soil, surely to the soil they shall return. How very poetic. While it is all alien to me, the basic premise is universally beautiful. Ah, I don't think I've ever got that before. That's interesting. At times, these seemingly emotionless Pikmin act with a blind urgency. For instance, the Pikmin who tirelessly dig up grass, what could possibly be driving them to do so? Is it merely the promise of a sweet taste of nectar, or is it some base instinct that is beyond my capacity to understand? Will I ever know? At first glance, the Pikmin have such innocent faces, but this is misleading. Uh, misleading. They can actually be surprisingly whimsical. After leaving the group, they dig up plants on their own and frolic about sometimes, never returning to the onion. When I find none following me, I begin to worry. I must pay careful mind to their movements. Okay. Gradually, my repairs to the dolphin continue. This ship is like a part of me. One could even say that it is tied to my very essence. Yes, it was a long... One might say epic journey going from mere repairman to captain of my own ship. But now I'm rambling. Looking from this planet into the skies above, I see the pale white moon floating overhead. It brings to mind memories of the moon from back home. I bet that even now my wife and children are sitting at home gazing up at our pale red moon. Hang on, dear ones. Your Olimar will return someday. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that, that, that hits you right in the guts, doesn't it? Damn. When I'm surrounded by legions of Pikmin, I always picture the face of my boss, the head of the pilot union. He was always so sharp-tongued with his orders, but I imagine he must have felt much the same way that I do now. It's funny how a change of perspective can bring with it a deeper understanding of others. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to meet your boss in the second game. Hmm. Maybe. I can't help but hear a slow hissing sound inside my head. It seems that the stress is causing the last of my hair to fall out. My wife always warned me not to let the little things bother me. To prepare for the bigger things instead. Very well. I shall heed her sage words. This shall be the last time I count my precious, precious strands of hair. One, two. Enjoy them, Olimar. Enjoy them whilst you can. It feels as if I've been eating it forever, and I never liked it much to begin with. Certainly, I did not want to drain my savings. <laughs> but perhaps I should have not budgeted it so tightly. How I long for my wife's home cooking. Tomorrow is the day my life support system fails. If I do not recover all of my parts, I have no choice but to try and blast off. 
Missing a few parts may not affect my attempt to return to Hogstate, but then again, it may. At any rate, I must try to recover the remaining parts tomorrow. Okay, so this is kind of a pain in the ass. You can't actually go straight to sunset on the final day, which really sucks. Um, okay, just gonna have to sit here and waste the time, I suppose. Lel. Right, okay guys. I'll return when we're almost out of time. Here we go. The day when my life support system fails has come. I have collected only 12 of 30 ship parts. I have no choice but to attempt to launch the dolphin into space. Incomplete. As it is, the ship doesn't need every lost part in order to fly. For better or worse, I must go. Oh boy. Thirty days in paradise is over. Hold on to your ass, Olimar. Oof, that's not looking so good. Oof. That's quite a cartoony end to a really dire, serious situation. Oof. So that's all we managed to collect that on that run. I guess we're saving. And there is our dead Olimar being reclaimed by the Pikmin. So there we have it. If if Oliver actually dies on the planet, the Pikmin harvest him and uh, turn him into a Pikmin. Now, I don't know what mental capacity he would have as a Pikmin. Is he just uh, a, a mindless Pikmin that looks like Oliver? We may never know. But anyway, guys, that is Pikmin. That is the game. That is finished good and bad endings uh i'm pretty sure you either escape or you don't so yeah i don't think there is actually a third kind of ending but maybe i should have a quick look and see if there is but anyway regardless that is pikmin i've enjoyed this game immensely i hope you have too thank you very much for watching and as always till next time <laughs>